y cubed minus y. Now we ask ourselves, what is common to both of these? Well, I have a single y here and I have three of them. This is y times y times y. So I cannot pull y cubed out because although I do have three of them here, I don't have three of them here. And I can't pull y squared out because yeah, I have enough here, but I don't have enough here. I only have one. I only can pull a single y out because that's the only thing common, the largest thing common to both, right? So I pull a single y out. Now y times what is y cubed? Well, inside here has to be y squared, because when I multiply, remember, same base, I add the exponents, two plus one is three. Then I link it with a minus sign, and then y times something is y, and you have to put a one here. And so this is the answer. And you can always verify it's true, because y times y squared is y cubed, minus y times one is y. So you can check your work. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.